Hey y'all, I made a rather long video today for the designer class in the subscriber area to share with them how to make uh, buttons in Photoshop Elements. Um, now Photoshop Elements, um, the tools that you have, the bevels and things that come with Photoshop Elements are not that conducive to making great buttons and so I made a few layer styles in the full version of Photoshop so that all of the uh, Photoshop Element users could be successful in the class and as always I share these uh, things I make on my blog for free for everybody for a short uh, period of time and then after that they're always available in the subscriber area for anybody who subscribes um, so I'm going to be sharing these uh, layer styles that I created in order to make a button and here's the button that I'm making that's also going to be in the download and I'm not going to go into great detail on how to make this button I'm going to do it very quickly uh, you can always subscribe to get um, uh, the full version of the video and so um, I'm going to create a new layer, get my elliptical mar marquee tool, hold down my shift key, and I'm making a circle. And I've got my guides active, and um, so I'm using them to line. And uh, then I'm going to uh, fill my button. And for this case, um, I actually have a paper. Um, that I had made and it's available in my flaky fun kit mini kit anyway so I'm making a matching button to that I'm going to press control J and duplicate it and I actually um, reduce the paper down a lot let's temporarily clo close this uh, oh hit that and um, I put it up here, press Control G so that I'm clipping that paper. I'm going to move it a little bit. Uh, there we go. I'm going to right click and merge down. So now I have a circle the size of, uh, or filled with my paper. I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate that layer, get my marquee tool out hold down the shift key to draw another circle but it's not going to be uh, quite as large as the other one and on my the copy of my uh, circle layer I'm going to hit delete control D to deselect so I'm working with two uh, layers now um, this one is a full circle and uh, the top one is uh, just going to be the rim and now we're going to apply these two layer styles I I not really great at making layer styles I know I named this one hummy uh, button one rim and you can see this one is named hummy button one base uh, I did this twice where the rim goes I don't know <laughs> Is gremlins in my computer so one is for the rim the top layer and one is for the base and so here's the rim and I'm going to apply it and here is the base and I'm going to apply it um, now I made some holes let's figure out where they are here on my paper um, and the uh, tutorial in um, the subs let me move this up so you can see it the tutorial in the subscriber area shares more how to make these holes uh, but I'm just using this as a template and so I'm going to um, hold down the control key click on the thumbnail you can see I have now a selection of my template holes and I'm going to go to the base layer and hit the delete key and I have some uh, inner shadows 
on here from the layer style so the holes immediately look like they are uh, um, have some depth to them and just like that I have made a button that easy you can use solid colors um, or uh, papers or you can even get more creative with various layers um, so this one here is for the base and this one here is for the rim and the one I'm going to share I stuck a little um, string on it and uh, that's going to be available in the download too and so uh, I hope this helps you understand how to use this download and uh, have fun with it and oh, share with me if you use it. I like to see it. Upload it to the gallery or leave me a note somewhere or email it to me. Uh, thanks a lot.